describe it as the worst nightmare I've ever had in my life. The man at the center of the standoff in Broken Arrow says that he didn't know anything was even going on at his home. Joey Brashears is accused of kidnapping a woman. That led to an hours-long run-in with police and his house catching fire. Two Work C reporter Micah Hadfield went to the Tulsa County Jail to speak with him. Joey Brashears tells me he had no idea anything was going on at his house. He says he was passed out under a tarp the entire time the special operations team was there. I was outside under a tarp in the driveway in front of the garage. You know, if they had looked outside before they started blowing up my house, they would have found out that I was unconscious. Broken Arrow's special operations team was outside Brashear's home for at least five hours on Thursday. The woman he's in a relationship with told police every time she tried to leave, he beat her. The police were there to arrest him for kidnapping. Nobody has a perfect relationship. Uh, we had an argument turned off into a, a, a slap, kind of a we kind of a slap bite. He says he ran into something when he was going outside that knocked him out. Police called out repeatedly over a loudspeaker for Bashirs to come out. They gassed his house, ignited flash bombs, and broke windows. That's before his home caught fire, flames shooting out. Bashir says he didn't hear any of it. He says his lack of injuries prove he wasn't in the home. There was no fire damage on me. There was nothing burn on me. I had no smoke in my lungs. I had no tear gas in my lungs. BAPD did confirm Brashears was found right inside his garage unconscious. They say he was given CPR and he woke up. As far as the woman, Brashears says the injuries she has came from her job as a dog groomer. She got a lot of uh, hair in her eyes the week before, which made her eyes black from rubbing them. She uh, blow dries the dogs and um, she rubs her eyes a lot, which they were black from before. Police say the woman had injuries to her face, head, shoulders, back and legs. Brashears tells me he does plan to bond out either today or tomorrow. At the jail, Micah Hatfield, two works for you.